to another one. We are out here at the farm with old the bearded man himself. What's uh, up? You guys liked the last uh, farm hunt we did. It was the roulette farm challenge today. Uh, look, group of three. They're just floating. Out. It's time to go. Another one. That was a juvie. Yeah. Today, I'm doing a video. Uh, let, okay, let me rephrase this. I'm doing a video that y'all have recommended but not recommended. Basically, long story short, uh, the hunting season's coming and a ton of you, and I mean a ton, are buying or wanting to buy new shotguns. And a lot of you, you've seen all the brands that I have and that I shoot. So, long story short, the most asked question that I get about shotguns in general is, Bobby, what's better, your new Benelli SB3 or your new Rite? And I'm like, I don't know. I need your help. I need your help. I'll shoot one. <laughs> <laughs> so I recruited Jordan and I'm like, we're gonna go out to your farm. We're gonna trade them back and forth. So what we got is the brand new Rite Masi Mara. Uh, these are identical guns pretty much. I mean, length, size, 12 gauge. And then we have the Benelli Super Black Eagle 3. Now, a little uh, difference in the price, but not a ton. I wonder what, I think the Rite runs, I don't know, is it like 1100? Have you looked? I was thinking they're closer to 14, but I'm not sure. Oh, are they 14? I was thinking they're a little bit more expensive. I think it matters a lot on which one you get though. Yeah, so, so I think, I'm guessing the Rite is probably 14, the SB3 is what, 18 probably? I think for the black one. I right. think if you get camo, it's like 21. Right. So, uh, very close on price, expensive shotguns nonetheless. We're gonna be out here slinging them, Jordan and I. And if you haven't subscribed to Jordan's channel, go check him out in the description below. I'm down there. I'm mean, he's down there. <laughs> <laughs> but this video here is sponsored by DucksWaterfowl.com. If you haven't checked them out, go down the description. All the hoodies I wear, the shirts, the Ducks t-shirt of the month, what that is is you get a dope one-off t-shirt in your mailbox for the same price of $14.99 once every single month. Hats, everything, go down there, check it out. Whenever you guys purchase something, it goes directly to helping me bring you guys more of these videos, and I mean it. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Which one do you want to shoot first? The Rite. The Rite? I've been thinking about getting one, so I need to try it. Right. A lot of other people have been thinking about it, too. They're nice. I. Every time I've handled one, I've been impressed. Right. But I also really, really like my SB2, so. Exactly. We'll see what happens. So, that's another good point, is that he already sports the SB2. So you're gonna know. And me and the SB2 get along really well. Just so like I'm really and, curious. Just like me and the Franke. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. A lot of you have been wondering, Bobby, do I get a Benelli uh, SB3, an SB2, or a Franke? Because I like my Franke so much. Should we do another video? I'm down. I'll bring my two, you bring the Franke. Exactly. We'll see which one. Yeah. It'll help you guys decide which one to buy. You know what I mean? That's what this video is over. I hope we wrecked the Starlings today. Uh, we debated. I was like, should we do a roulette challenge where we have to use a 410? It's pretty windy out here. It is windy. Yeah. I was really hoping it wouldn't be this bad, but maybe it'll calm down a little bit here in a while. Let's get after it. Oh, we got Starlings everywhere, boys. We better go, dude. Yeah. So I'm starting out with the SB3. Uh, we're gonna I think we'll shoot four birds each. Okay. Ish. Four birds with five we'll, shots. Uh, <laughs> four birds with four shots. Yeah, absolutely. I got a whole pocket full of shells. I hope I have enough. I got a fanny pack. A fanny pack? I know. I need one of those still. Those are nice. We should have a starling any minute here. Dude, oh there, there's gonna be a lot in the in the shed here. There is an absolute ton of starlings here. We just watched like a group of 200 come dive bombing into the farm. Insane. But I'm excited to do this video. A lot of you, there's been enough of you ask which gun's better. I was like, we just got to do a video. And me and Jordan, we shoot pretty much identical. A lot. Uh, like, as far as numbers go, we're always pretty much identical. So you're going to get a good evaluation over these two uh, firearms. Oh. <laughs> oh, whenever you want to go, I'll just, I'll send it too. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. Oh, there's three, four. <laughs> oh, did you jam? It didn't push the bolt back, did it? It didn't. So, uh, mm. 
So you shot once, I, I shot, shot once. I shot all three. Four fell. Oh my god, look, look, look. Holy crap, there's a thousand of them. Holy smokes. Well, look at that. Yep. comes one, two. <laughs> yeah, he fell from a thousand feet, dude. You came way down. Wow. Well, that's six dead so far. We're done. <laughs> Woo. Well, so let's talk real quick. Um, I gotta be blatantly honest. When you said you were gonna take the retake, you said good. I kinda to myself was like good because, and this is the only reason. Remember when we did that honker hunt? north of here oh, yeah i rocked that gun now that was my first three and a half inch gun that i've had in a long time remember yeah. well we oh, shot yeah. pigeons so we had to shoot pigeons with steel that day because we shot geese as well i forgot this gun's not actually broken yet it's brand new it's both of these guns are literally brand new now that one that one's probably had what uh, two three it's probably had three boxes of three and a half go through it okay well it should be loosened up anyway but that day that we hunted, we I ran the... Uh, those were one ounce steel shot. They didn't like those at all. I remember that. That's a three and a half inch gun. So is this, but the the small shells don't push the bolt back uh, as hard, near as hard as a, as a three or a three and a half inch. Mm -hmm. It's That's, comfortable though. That, I'll give it that. They're both brand new. I, I don't think either of them have had more than the other necessarily, but that blip. okay 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 a little di disclaimer here i am not out to bash any companies i am not out to um say one company is better than the other but <clears throat> like i said when we started this video i was just gonna be blatantly honest now that retail i absolutely love it you put a three you put a three and a half inch shell in it i've never had an issue it kills and that choke you got on there that's a kicks see i've never shot a kicks before yeah, that's well, a, I've heard good things about it. Right, that's a kicks high flyer. Awesome, awesome, awesome little setup. But my, it doesn't like light loads. It's a three and a half inch gun. It's a goose gun, you know. Oh, I was just coming to say hi. You ain't got to tuck your head in there. You can say hi to everybody. Uh, we got into him pretty good there, like real good, and uh, kind of flushed him out already. The way it works it is i mean back there on the high line though there's still yeah oh there's two but i hope you guys like these gun reviews oh here we go Ooh, get him right there oh <laughs> he's like up oh, that's better yeah idea. he landed right at the top of that tree oh, oh adult one right there oh I don't understand. We were just talking about it. I said, is it going to do it again? Uh, I don't know if it's because it's a new gun, if it's just a gun that does not like light loads. Really like this I don't know. It did but it to it, me before and it doesn't have I don't know. But, oh, oh. It's smokestacked. Smokestacked? Yeah. Man, I'm telling you, it just doesn't. I don't know. It doesn't push the bolt back enough hard. Uh, there's a lot of spring pressure in there behind that bolt or something. I mean, I don't know if it's just a beefy system. I think it's beefy for sure. But, I don't know. I mean, it chambered one that time. Right. But it's like it didn't kick the shell up far enough. I don't, it's getting better with every shot. I don't know if it just need warmed up or what, but we'll see. Again, uh, guys, both of these are brand new, and I mean brand new guns. Oh, over the top. Oh. Oh, he dead. Maybe. Kind of dead. Kind of dead. He landed in the tree and then he fell. There we go. It did fine that time. It, oh, did it? Did it cycle? It cycled that time. Okay. Okay. Did you connect? Yeah. Well, 
ish. I'm you pretty sure the you shotgun's gonna tell me that I You was wounded alive. him like I did, pretty much. Uh, just not as much. Maybe she just <laughs> needs warmed up. Oh! Boom! That's a close shot! <laughs> All right, done. you ready to switch? Let me get one more shot. All right, all right. I seen him come and I was like, oh, I can't miss this one. Oh, darn it. Where's he coming from? Well, I better load up. Oh. Oh! Nice shooting, dude. That's well done. <laughs> Ready to switch? Oh, yes. But she cycled. Everything went fine. Okay. I don't know why oh. there's a shell down here. There's a shell on the bottom. I don't understand that. I don't know what's going on there. But it did cycle. There's a shell down here. I don't know if that's normal or not. Huh. But she, I, I could have shot again. Right. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we go. We're switching. Taking the shot cams off and putting on the other gun. What are you thinking? What's your, uh, or we'll do this. What's your first impression? Uh, it's a really, really comfortable gun. I really, really like it. It fits me well. I love the oversized charging handle. I like the way that you Well, this, is a, so that, that's a custom one. That's, that's a custom a, one? Yeah, someone sent me that bad boy. I think they come with a big one though, don't they? Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, exactly. I think if I remember right, they're a big one. Oh yeah. That's one thing I really like about it. Right. But it, it's a comfortable gun. And I mean, it looks sharp. They do. It, and it they feel nice. really good. Yeah. And I mean, it reminds me a lot of my SB2, uh, other than it doesn't like light loads. It really so, don't. I don't know. Like I said before, I don't know if it's just a really, really tight spring, but uh, if it doesn't shoot well for me the first time, I get a little anxious uh -huh. about it. And so, I'm just being completely honest about it here, y'all, is um, <clears throat> I think the first, well, how about this? So the first time I ever shot that gun, the Rite, that one right there, was during waterfowl season, and I was like, heck yes, I can actually shoot three and a half inch loads now. So I started shooting that out of the box with three and a half inch loads. This one, straight out of the box, was here at the farm. I remember. And what, maybe a pigeon hunt. So all light, you know, ounce and an eighth ounce, two and three quarter loads, all federal, you know, all the federal, I know that's all we use. But I'm just saying, the Benelli, the first, the only, I have not shot a large three inch three and a half inch load through it yet. It has only, in its whole lifespan, it has only had two and three quarter ounce and an eighths. So, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, um, like I said, I started this earlier, I, I, I said, I, my disclaimer is that I want nothing about this video to be negative to any company. I wanna do some more of these videos because um, shotguns are expensive and you guys ask me all the time Bobby, what do you recommend? And if I recommend you something, um, long story short, I don't wanna be blamed if it don't work right. I'm not saying the Rite doesn't work right, I'm just saying it doesn't like light loads, and that's my experience. So, other than that, <clears throat> I'll say it. It's a semi auto shotgun and it's shooting single shot. It's not working right right now. But it probably could get broken and get to where I would like it. Yeah. I don't know. I'm sorry. Gosh. One thing, another disclaimer. <laughs> Listen, uh, the, the channel is, is uh, if there's anything about the channel that I've always wanted to be, uh, just to run fluent through it, what I'm trying to say is just for it to be honest. I, I want my YouTube channel just to be honest. We all know waterfowl hunting is expensive, okay? And any of these guns, any of them, that will, any shotgun, I don't care if it's a Winchester, if it's a Benelli, if it's a Browning, if it's a TriStar, I don't care what brand it is, how expensive it is, I wanna test it and I wanna give you guys the information you're seeking. You know, the information you're seeking because you're gonna spend your money. We all know that. So, first thing about this, uh, about the retake, the first hunt I did on it, I remember um, it was a uh, it was on my lease field, and it was a goose hunt. And y'all recommended 
that I get the kicks high flyer. And I was using three and a half inch black clouds that day. I love that round. Oh, <laughs> domination. Three and a half inch black clouds, y'all. Nothing, I mean, there's really nothing comparable. I'll be, I'll be very honest. But long story short, this gun on that day, every waterfowl hunt that I did late season with this, because I think I got it after the first of the year, but every one was lights out with three and a half inch shells. So I've shot many, many geese this past season with this gun. I just want to say that I love this gun. I mean, um, I, maybe if I can't run light loads through it, that, so be it. But I will continue to use this bad boy goose season. I love it. Well, switch guns. Here we are. I got the Masamara, the Rite Masamara, uh, and you got the SB3. I just picked it up and I looked at Jordan and I go, it's a lot heavier. Yep. It is. Can you automatically tell? Oh, but this gun's light. Yeah. It's super light though. Uh, let's go. Let's give her a go, boys. Y'all have been asking what shotgun you ought to get. Well, y'all have been actually trying to decide between the Rite and the SB3. I hope this video helps you out. Watch out, girls. Watch out. A little bit of croc action at the farm today. <laughs> a little bit of dairy cow poop never hurt nobody. All right, well now we're back. Oh, 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 I got your back. Nice! Nice shot. I kind of like that. <laughs> yeah, first shot with it. Well, uh, first shot with the Benelli has panned <laughs> out pretty well. Yeah, that Benelli boy. Yeah, I'm telling you right now, I love this, this retake. Do amazing. not get me wrong. But I feel like, and my so honest opinion, guys, my honest opinion first of all when i picked this gun up i was like man there's a big difference in weight and then when it didn't cycle the small lows i was like okay there's no re there's no way to get around that we're gonna have to be honest about it and here we are here we go ah oh click why why did it click because it didn't put another one in the chamber that's why Oh, did it die? He's dead. Okay, I hit him though. Yeah, he's dead. He's, he tried to make it to the pole, and he said, he "Ow, ten foot." Ow, I can't, I can't make it, Bob. Well, there we go. Straight. Yeah, no, no. I will tell you right now. This, this Rite, it does. I mean, it'll kill him. Oh, get him! Ah! Oh. I shot over him. That That is a, the shot cam tell you that. That is a very lucky starling. So, Jordan, uh, oh, hold on a minute. Oh, look, it's stuck in the bottom. There it is. Okay. So, Jordan, you have, uh, now you've shot three times, but yep. the first two shots you connected. Yep. The first shot I killed, but I'm still having really bad cycling issues. Have you had any cycling issues or uh, misfire? I haven't needed more than one shell. Right. But I haven't had to check. Right. All right. Well, what's this coming at us? Well, I just took a, uh, I just took a Hail Mary little spray and prayer and it cycled. It may be getting broke in. I think it cycled the last round too though, right? Yeah, I think the last two times I've shot, it cycled. Well, they're all going that way. Way that way. Here's one here. Let's tag team them. That one. I was hoping you'd pull the trigger right I when I did. I shot the other one, the one you shot. Oh, down. you killed him! No, that was the one you shot at. I shot the oh, one Oh, that was I the hit. one I killed? Yeah. Okay, well. So I just shot. Did it cycle? It did! Boom! The gun is cycling with Bobby. <laughs> He's shooting stuff. Cycling and for me. I can't now. Hit Jack. I think the game is rigged. <laughs> I think the game yeah. is rigged. Oh my goodness, right behind you. Literally a whole flock of them. Look at this. Look at it, would you? Go down. I gotta ask you all, hey, please, if you guys like these comparison videos, um, I can tell you one thing about a waterfowl hunter, a shotgun shooter, a wing shooter, is we all care about what gun we're shooting. Nobody wants to buy a gun and not like it, but have to shoot it because you bought it. So 
long story short, I, if you guys want to see more comparisons, maybe drop your comment down below and be like, hey, we want you to compare this gun and this gun, or this gun and this gun. Um, if I can find a buddy that has a gun, I'll borrow it, and me and Jordan will come back out here and we'll do it. So uh, let me know. Honestly, uh, I want to help you guys. We're not doing a lot of decoy spread videos. We've done them all. All, this, all the calling videos, uh, the season's coming. If you guys want some shotgun videos, though. Oh, maybe not. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I was just falling. You went through all three shells. That's, I just want to see if it would. All for one starling. That's an expensive starling that did not die, dude. Hey. Oh. Ah, that was a shot. Good one. Dude, I didn't. He, I was at that point where you're like, yeah, I'm just gonna pull it. I, there yeah. we go. Oh, Rite getting it done. That was a shot. That kicks and that Rite. I'm telling you what, boys. That's a good combo. Got him. Nice shot. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Where you at? Right there. Holy. <laughs> yeah yeah they came right over the top dude that was killer there's a tree row they just stayed behind it and they just boom poked out that was awesome smoked him with the retake did it cycle yes it did all right on all right, real quick. We're back here at the trucks. Mm -hmm. I want to do something real quick. Yeah. Is your gun on? Is that Benelli unloaded? No, it is not Go yet. Go ahead and unload that bad boy. There were pigeons flying around. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Go ahead and unload it. I want to. I want to see something really quick here. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. There you go. All right. We're good to go. I want to fill. Oh, dude, come here. Fill this. Oh yeah. So, fill them. Oh. So. Huh? See how it stops? That stop right there. I'm not sure what that catch is right there, but I bet that is the problem. Guaranteed. When I was shooting it this, stops right I went there. to rack it. I rented. I went to rack. This one stops. It has a it, little but bit. it's not as aggressive. It's a lot springier. Exactly. Well, it's just smoother. I wonder if that transition. See, look. I mean, that, it's they're, like a wall. They're both inertia, right? Yes. Yeah, this one's just there's a, it's a smoother. This one don't have more spring pressure. It's just that this one's smoother there's bolt. Just, there's just a little bit of catch in that one. Exactly. There's a. I'm sure a lot of you guys, any shotgun that has that first catch, but it's about how smooth that first catch is. The last uh, last shot that I racked, I felt that I'm like, it's not. I don't think it's that the spring is stiff, stiffer than the Benelli. I just feel like the transition, that step right there is just more aggressive sounds fair i mean honestly that, that's a good assessment yeah it's just a little stiff and it, it just doesn't it's not smooth that's what it is it's just yeah. not smooth and and and, and again <clears throat> i will go ahead and, and slightly blame it on them being new but i will tell you that both of them both of them i've had i've had the retail longer than i've had the benelli i have shot three inch steel three and a half inch steel through the retail to break it in more but not the benelli the Benelli has only, like I said earlier, had one ounce, an ounce and an eighth, regular old measly shells throw. It's just plain shells. I would, I'm gonna say this, and, and I, again, I'm not trying to offend anybody, but me and Jordan were talking, and I was like, the main reason that the YouTube channel's here is about being realistic, and, it, and about being honest about products, because we're all Americans out here that work hard and I mean hard for my for, for my money and for your money. We all do. And um, I'll say this. <clears throat> um, a company that's been around for 100 years, however long it's been, um, without knowing anything and just being a consumer that's going to spend my money, I will tell you um, I'm going to go with tradition. For one thing, testing. They're, they're tried and true. They're tried and true, man. I mean... You don't, you don't have a gun with a reputation like Benelli without being through some stuff. And it, it shows, it's been through some stuff and they have worked through a lot to get to that point. I get you, exactly. The technology, 
the numbers that they put into it, the, the, the research. Retay, again, if you just have enough money for a retay, get you one. I'm telling you, I love them. I guarantee you, you run, I bet by this time next year, that gun will shoot those, those that, ugh, sorry. I guarantee you. <laughs> I'm not cutting that out. Dang it! <laughs> I would. <laughs> I guarantee you by the end of the waterfowl season, yeah. with as many shells that run through that gun, this time next year, that gun will shoot flawlessly just like this one did. Right. But it's gonna have to be broke, broke in. Yes, it's gonna have to be broke, broke in. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. No catch, clean, cook today. Uh, I do wanna remind you guys, uh, we have the duck seasoning available and it's not just waterfowl duck seasoning. It's all meat seasoning It's good for steaks. It's good for pork chops. It's good for chicken. It's good for fish I don't know anything about it, but uh, the next ones are headed that way here <laughs> Yeah, but I want to thank you all for being here That's the second time I said it subscribe if you haven't uh, hit that little notification bell down there It'll notify you when your boy uploads and again if you have any recommendations for videos of guns that you want Jordan and I to come out to the farm this is prior to waterfowl season. A lot of you, again, are buying new shotguns. Let me know. We will come out here. We will find the guns. We will come out here and we will do them. Uh, I had a lot of fun today. But until next time, peace. I've been getting laid back, baby. You should know that. I don't need your criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL. Got a girl that keeps it real.